myself Vikas Ijevarge, I am an assistant professor in a Sanghvi Innovative Academy, Institute of Technology and Management, Indo. I have published my one book in Environment Engineering that is running in the RGPB University, Bhopal. Today I am going to deliver a topic on the best of amines. Amines are characterized by the number of alkyl group attached to nitrogen. If we see the classification of amines, they are classified as a primary, secondary amine, tertiary amine and quaternary amine. If we see, we will find out that RNS2 containing one alkyl group having a primary amine, R2NH that consider as a secondary amine, R3 consider as a tertiary amine and R4 N positive that is considered as a quaternary amine salt. If we see some naming of a simple amine, we will find that when a primary simple amines which are considered, yeah, which can be called as alkyl amines. So, we can see example of primary amines is methyl amine. The formula of a methyl amine is CS3NH2. Secondly, we can see the two carbon containing amine having a formula of CS3, CS2, NS2 and also have a CS3, CS2, 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 NS2 is a butyl amine. If we go move forward for a symmetrical secondary or tertiary amine which are considered as or we can say it is called as dialkyl amine or trialkyl amine. Examples are diethyl amine CS3, CS2 whole twice NH or it can write as trimethyl amine is CS3 whole thrice N. Increase in the number of alkyl group represent is secondary or tertiary structure. Now, go move for some complex amines. Amines with more than one type of alkyl group may be named as N substituted primary amine and the longer alkyl chain determines the base name. The focus on this line is very important. The longer alkyl chain determines the base name. We can see an example of this complex amine is N methyl propylyl amine. If we see the geometry, we will find that CS3, then NH, and this NH is combined with the three molecule of a carbon is CS2, CS2, CS3. Also, we can see the second example is NN dimethyl ethyl amine, that is CS3 whole twice N, and then it combined with C2H5. So, the focus on the thing is that the longer alkyl chain will be the base of considering the name of amine. Go move for the second more complex where it have been determined that amines that have more than one functional group may be named using amino as a substituent on the parent molecule. Example, we will find that 2 amino ethanol. Here is the formula of ethanol is CH2CH2OH and that is joined with amine is NS2. Here the thing we have to focus is the amines which have more than one functional group we call as a pronunciation is a amino. It is not a amine, it is a amino when more than one functional group is attached. We can see the second example of this is 4 amino butonic acid and what we see the butonic is CS2, 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 COOH and NS2 is also a functional group. So, the name is considered as a amino not a amines. Now, not other than the amines which are linear, we can also see those amines which have a heterocyclic compound or heterocyclic nature. What is the heterocyclic amine says? They are have a very common non-systematic names. They are not considered on the basis of the ring, but they are considered as a non-systematic name. It means the amines which have a nitrogen as a part of a ring, where the nitrogen is considered as a common element of a ring. 
the name based on a nitrogen is considered as amine and when it is attached with the ring the name is called heterocyclic amines. We can see some examples of a heterocyclic amines which are very common like aniline. It is a very simplest form of an heterocyclic amines is ring above that NH2 is on the first position of a carbon. We can see some other heterocyclic compound also there like a pyridine, like a pyrimidine, like a pyrrole, like quinoline, like indole, like imidazole and like benzimidazole. These are our heterocyclic compounds where the nitrogen and sulfur containing compounds which have a power for anti-cancer, antibacterial, antifungal activities. They are very curable for all these diseases. We can go move for the another one if we see the geometry, if we see the structure of our minds, what we find nitrogen being a central atom and it have a bonded with three hydrogen bond and we know that nitrogen have a one lone pair of electron and also we know that according to the VSEPR theory where the lone pair lone pair repulsion is more than is the lone pair bond pair repulsion and also is bond pair bond pair repulsion. If we see the geometry of uh, aniline here, what we see nitrogen have a central atom and it have considered a one lone pair of electron and we see the nitrogen in ammonia have sp3 hybridized nitrogen. Also we see the pyramidal inversion of uh, ammonia that nitrogen considered as a central atom and when a lone pair of electron is shifted with a very fast reaction it forms an enantiomer and a super non superimposable image. If we move some properties of amines what we see amines are polar they are capable of making hydrogen bond they have uh, some special properties like those amines which have a lower molecular mass of up to carbon number 5 they are soluble in water but the higher molecular mass amines are insoluble in water they behave like as a conjugate acid or they dissolve in an acidic solution. Also we can see many amines have a foul order amines have weak bases. If we see the geometry of some biologically active amine we see so many molecules are there if we see and we move forward we have as some nicotine we have some caffeine also there the structure of the geometry the cocaine they are all bi biologically very active amines. If we see the amines are of slightly basic nature because they have a lone pair of electron and they have a capacity to donate the proton and those which have a capacity to donate this proton they are considered as a Lewis base. So, here amines is a Lewis base and the same feature makes them nucleophilic see the geometry of this. Also we see instead of measuring an amine basicity of uh, above equilibrium what we have find out right now the acidity of a conjugate base of the amine the weaker the conjugated acid stronger will be the strength of the amine. Also we can see typical amine have a k a value of 10 raised to the power minus 10 to 10 raised to the power minus 11. Also we see some amines that are weaker base like aniline, like pyridine, like parole because of the lone pair uh, electron delocalized by resonance in the aromatic ring. They are pyridine is a weaker base than it is um, amines, pyrrole is much weaker because of lone pair of electron is delocalized. Some efficient of basicity of aniline we can see the substituents also we can see amine that is a stronger base, the one type of amine that is a stronger base, gunadine is a strong base because its conjugate acid is stabilized. So, this is all about uh, introduction, basic introduction of our minds. Thank you everybody.